Hey guys, so I'm finally outside. So I clean up the deck and I um, plant. So I have a lot of plants going on. But I think I'm going to show you when they get like a... Sorry. Everybody's cleaning their deck and putting their stuff out um, this week. Especially this weekend because it hasn't rained. But it's supposed to rain later. So I don't know because it's a little gloomy right now. But anyway... I'm just glad I'm able to do something today outside. Um, probably for an hour before I have to pack it up and go back in. But nevertheless, it's my first time out. Spring. Super happy. So I am right now just doing my notes. I'm going to start my notes for Little Women because I read it. But here's the funny part. This is only part one of Little Women. So if you have this edition, because I had no idea that you need part two. So I read part two on my Kindle and I read the Dover edition, which I did like. Um, but I think I'm going to, I even went back on their website for this edition and they don't have part two. They only have part one in this and look how beautiful this is, but it's only part one guys. So anyway, I read the part two on my Kindle and i absolutely love it so i will talk more about it later but i'm gonna do my notes and then i did start this one hello beautiful i'm not far in i'm literally like 20 some pages 30 page some on page 31 so i'm not far in it to really talk but this is what i'm gonna focus on this week um and you know i picked this up because of the homage that it um it said here to uh, Little Women. Kind of see where why because of the whole uh, sisters uh, family. How it panned out, I'm not sure because I'm not far in it to really say anything because it's just basic like introduction. Um, and then also, it is Sunday, so I need to do my planner today as well um, for the week. To make sure I know all the stuff I need to get done and then I'm gonna do my journal spread in of course my journal today um, and that is the goal right now and then I'm also cooking so I'm gonna eat as well but I'm so happy to be outside and the weather is beautiful because you know last summer when it got to summer it was so hot I was never you really saw me outside in any of the footage so I'm taking advantage of the weather right now and I'm not sneezing which is good because of the rain the pollen is a little down so it was it's a good day to be outside recording and I'm hoping I can do it in the mornings as well like maybe have my breakfast out here because I have time in the morning to like enjoy some of this before again the weather gets crazy but I cleaned up I was exhausted yesterday I had to clean everything up plant all the plants I think I did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about twelve plants that I potted yesterday um then I'm exhausted <laughs> um so I'm still feeling a little ache from yesterday and but then I had to go out again to the store to get a new cover for the grill um, which I can't use because I realized I had no gas. I have a gas grill and so I have to Head back out at some point this week to get a new uh, Tank well get my tank refill um, And that's it, but I, We're gonna do outside this week and I'm hoping that would motivate me to do Get back to my daily vlogging and give you guys a take of what I'm doing. But for right now Let me do a little bit of notes probably not that much and then um, get into my planner and do my journal spread for the day and uh, that's what we're gonna do right now sorry so yeah
Hey guys, so we are Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. The week is the week is coming along, but the week just feels kind of long this week. I don't know <laughs> why. But anyway, let's give you a little update on where we at with Hello Beautiful. Um, I'm deep. I'm deep in. I'm like 230 pages, something like that. Like that. Nothing about this book is beautiful. Not a damn thing about it. This book is beautiful. Now, I do see the homage that she took from Little Women when you think of um, the Four Sisters. When you think of a bit of a... Like, like I don't even like comparing it because I think Little Women is that feel-good story while this is just messy. Um, messy on a level that is just like, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I am literally just going through the motion of, um, this is a man that is caught in the middle of a mess. A man that's going through his own, um, mental illness, um, who has basically is, is learning to live with, um, his mental illness and is caught in the middle of, uh, what they want to define as love. I, I, and I'm not there yet with it. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel it. So you have um, a sister whose intention when, when she got with this man um, was very selfish, was very much about her. And, um, and I don't think she took the time out to get to know this man. And now he was introduced to the family. And there is that connection that he has with the other sister who is broken and oftentimes feels very invisible in the family. That no one really sees that she's going through some things. And then it's tragedy hit in that setting and things happen. And then it becomes very much messy. Now I do not like um, Julie at all. Um, nothing about that sister I like versus I never dislike any of the sister in this little women I think they all were complicated in different ways but I never sit there and I'm like oh yeah I do not like I do not I do not like that sister and um so there's that whole idea you want to cheer for the other one but then the situation is just not good so I can't even cheer for the other sister in terms of the connection that she has they both broken they both understand each other on a different level I still can't cheer for them so this is this is just an ugly story I mean hello beautiful is is very much I, I see the, the sarcasm <laughs> the sarcasm with this because this is an ugly story there's nothing beautiful about this story but I'm going to continue reading it. There, there's some revelation that happened and it's just how that individual is going to take it and what happens with that. Um, we'll see, but, um, yeah, Oprah, Oprah like messy stuff. I see. Cause this is, this, I did next. I really didn't think this, this is how the story was going to be. Um, I'm a little surprised, but it's just, ugh, it's messy. <laughs> I can say so I will be checking in so I'm about to do my journal of the day and then head to work and then continue this tonight um this is the only book I'm currently reading so um it has my attention but my god Ugh. <laughs> yeah and, and let me see if this individual blurb this No, thank God. Because I kept thinking about that set individual with this mess. Yeah, it's not. Oof. All right. <laughs> On to some journaling.
Hey guys, so I finished the book and let's say it's mixed feeling overall for this book. And I also want to talk about Little Women. Now Little Women, absolutely fantastic. This is a story about four sisters. Their father's out in the war, their mother is taking care of them, and they are struggling. Um, because they miss them, their father and they, you know, the sadness. They also, things are harder, the father's not there, so financially they're a little struggling. But you have four sisters that have different personality. Um, and a different wants of what they see and what they expect to have as, you know, little women. They're supposed to have these certain things in society. So you have the oldest sister. She's like the rebel. She's going to go against everything. And that is, um, that is Joe. And I love Joe in this. Then you have the, uh, other sister, Amy. And Amy is that liked a certain kind of, um, um, I would say she wants the finest thing, but she's, she has a good heart. So she's still, even people are not going to treat her right. She's still going to look out for that person. And you see that in her personality. Then you have the other sister and Meg. Meg is the one that, um, also wanted certain things. And then, but you know, it, it came in not what she expected and she ended up getting married and she's married um and you you get to see how communication matters in this story and how they had to navigate through better communication because life was happening children's will come was popping out and she did not marry that wealthy man so she had to learn how to not expect a certain thing she always liked the finest clothes and she wanted all these things and he ain't making that kind of dough <laughs> so there were certain things that was happening with them that I, I i really enjoyed and appreciate in this classic because you don't get to see that a lot in the, this era in in the classic um most of the books i've read and then you have the other sister beth who's just you don't really she's like that one that connects a lot of people she collects Lori in this Lori is this the boy next door who's also a rebel and he's you know and he has his grandfather who's like wish he wasn't that way because especially since uh, you get this a little background story of his parents and that kind of deal and um so she is you know musician she likes piano and all that and of course in this she plays the, that kind of glue but then also tragedy follows her multiple time in this story um so she's that sister i love how it it could have been a messy story because you have that triangle story with joe amy and lori um but it played out in a way that i appreciate because in this book this is the first time in a that i could sit here and really think about where romance in the classic um, made sense where I find Joe's idea of she wanted passion she wanted to to have this connection with someone and uh, um, you don't see that oftentimes because in this era you get a lot of marriage of convenience and you didn't see that in this and I thought that was interesting um, which I love in this storyline so I love the connection that she did get in this storyline and you also love that the connection that that was very organic when you think of um, Lori and and you know the one that's to say he connect with I absolutely love this this was such a good book this was like a hell yes for me I am now I think about it like I really want to rewatch the classic I haven't done it yet just to see if I'm still gonna love it as much because even though the classic i really love the classic but now that i know so many stuff was really cut out of that movie that i mean am i gonna still love it as much as i did as a child but you know i'm adult and i understand a lot of things so maybe i still might appreciate it but we, we, we're gonna we're gonna find out eventually now you have this book so this is i picked this up because it was a homage this was a, a, a homage to, to hello uh beautiful and this is I hate when I think of the 80s as historical fiction, but essentially it is because there's certain things about this book where I think about it now, it's not a, it's, it would not happen in that way now. It's, or certain things that, were the, that that was happening was, no. How mental health is talked about and deal with now, I think there will be some changes and some terms that was used and things that are um, reflect the time. So I think the author was trying to keep it authentic, authentic as, as possible for the era. 
So this is same setup for sisters, for different personality, for different expectation of love and life. Um, and you can spot out who is supposed to be who in this. Now, Little Women was mentioned about twice in this book um, as a symbolic for the sisters. And you get the triangle, but the way it was done in this, it was super messy. You know, here it was about, there's that sacrifice of one who realized that this was not for them. Versus this, it's like, um, there's that betrayal and you get one sister that is felt very hurt about what happened. But you don't feel sorry for her at all, because I did not. Um... There's things about her in the beginning that you felt where she was that helpful older sister that wanted to protect her sister, wanted to make her parents happy. Um, but there was that selfish self-gratification that she was holding on to. And I felt a lot of what she was doing was about her and how it makes her feel and not necessarily the people that is was intended for them to feel like. So I think this is why I did not like the main character, well, one of the characters, the sisters in this, which was Julia. Now, I did like Sylvie. Um, I just did not like some of what happened because I felt it was a bit trifling <laughs> and messy so i struggle with that a bit in this but i also feel like um it it, it happened and it and it was meant to be in a way because of how the story is written um i just still feel like i would not be okay with this relationship ever if that was um happened to me or if that was my sibling so i i struggle with that um and then you have the twins and there's that one who's very much this artist and i love how she can put family member in 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 photo moments when they're not there that kind of mind that she has that she can create these images um so it's it's kind of constant reminder of somebody's missing but not really feeling that they're missing because it's like a portrait that represents them always around and then you have the other sister who is um gay but it was done in a way that really was 80s because it but it was also kind of funny to me because no one really cared that much except for the mother who was like trying to to live live a life in front of everybody's eyes she wasn't a good their mother wasn't a good mother to me um but she was very delu delusional at times and um trying to keep up with the drones in a lot of ways so it was like a struggle with that and how she left the family that was just like what the hell um but Again, she was, no one cared. Okay, you're gay. No one cared. Um, they treated her well. Um, but one of the things about this is the expectation of what you can and cannot do because of your sexuality definitely was a different time zone, time zone, time era. Um, absolutely. I was like, no, that's not true for now. But at, that was what they thought would never happen you know so if you've read this you know what i'm talking about but i kind of felt like there were several moments in this where i'm like there's that william that that one that kind of like everybody surround them this man and this you know tall basketball player that career didn't went well but there's like that scar and that things that that he's learning as he had his complete mental breakdown and you get to dissect why he had that mental breakdown. But there's another thing about this also that I thought, oh yeah, this is the 80s. I had to remind myself because I was questioning why would that be kind of the situation. But that was what they thought and how they handled mental health in the 80s. is very much reflected in this story. Um, overall, I said it's a love-hate book. It's not a book I'm jumping on my skin for. I'm not going to be like, we want to go read it. But if you do like family drama, you might really enjoy this and take something from it. The whole symbolic of Hello Beautiful is like finding beauty in mess, finding beauty in uncertainty, finding beauty in, in tragedy, finding beauty in, you know, things. It's just, that's just the, the whole gist of it. And which is not a bad message. Um, I just felt like, I, I just, that, that one sister just hurt my nerves. <laughs> and then, of course... Uh, it was just messy, and again, I would not be okay with this relationship ever. I don't care how loving that person was. Sorry, guys, so I got cut off a little. So anyway, I wouldn't okay with this relationship at all. But nevertheless, it's an interesting story, and I think if you do like family drama, go ahead and like messy storyline, go ahead. But this is a hell yes. Go and pick up and read if you have not read Little Women. You're gonna, if you love classic 
feel good, happy ending kind of storyline. Yeah, I'm, I'm I was here for this. So yeah, guys, I got a classic in this, and hello, beautiful up in here. So all right, so um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I think I'm going to do another book haul because I just realized I've read almost all the books that that I bought the last haul I did. I think, yeah, pretty much. I think there's only one left. Um, but we'll see what the next video is going to be about. But anyway, see you in the next one, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.